So we are going to solve problem 3.26 from Sudoku book and we are going to find node voltages for V1, V2 and V3 and this is the circuit and as you saw we pick the ground for this I will pick the most bottom circuit here as our ground so the voltage here will be zero and then it implies that the voltage here the difference between this node and this node must be 10 volt so the positive one is here so here the voltage here is minus 10 and the same can be said here but it's 15 so this one is 15 volt and this one is dependent voltage source so in this node the value is for I0 and I0 I0 is I think it's here if I'm not mistaken so I0 is here and this one will be for I0 and let's start by assuming where the voltage goes so this one already has the direction so I will follow it to the right and then for this one I assume that it will go to the bottom here and then first I will start at this node KCL at V1 okay let me use black here so the the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out for the node V1 all the currents <coughs> is going out so the current that goes in is zero and the current that goes out will be this current 3 plus I0 here but I0 is V1 minus V3 divided by 10 plus this current here so I will have V1 minus V2 divided by 5 and then this one plus V1 minus 15 divided by 20 so we can simplify these equations by multiply it by 20 so I will have 0 is equal to 3 times 20 is 60 and then this one has become 2 V1 minus 2 V3 and for this one it will become 4 V1 minus 4 V2 plus v1 minus 15 so we can simplify this 60 minus 15 is 45 plus for v1 i will have 2 plus 4 plus 1 6 plus 1 is 7 7 v1 and then for v2 i will have only this value minus 4 v2 and then for v3 i only have this value so i will have minus 2 v3 and we can simplify these equations by moving all of this to the left hand side so i will have minus 7 v1 plus 4 v2 and then plus 2 v3 is equal to 45 so we save this as equation number one and then we start at another nodes so I will start here in V2 KCL at V2 so for V2 the current that goes in is this one only this one so I will have write, have to write that V1 minus V2 
divided by 5 and then it's equal to the current that goes out this one and this one so v2 minus this value v2 minus 4 i0 divided by 5 plus this value v2 minus v3 and it's also divided by 5 you can multiply both sides by 5 so we will have v1 minus v2 is equal to v2 minus 4 i0 plus v2 minus v3 so let's do some algebra first I will move this one to the left hand side the v2 to the left hand side so minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 we got v1 minus 3 v2 and for v3 we will have plus v3 here and that will equal to minus 4 i0 but i0 we can calculate i0 so v1 minus 3 v2 plus v3 is equal to minus 4 and then we calculate i0 i0 is v1 minus v3 divided by 10 and then we can multiply both sides by 10 so 10 v1 minus 30 v2 plus 10 v3 is equal to minus 4 v1 plus 4 v3 and we can move this to the left hand side so we will have what do you have here 14 v1 and then for v2 there is no under v2 minus 30 v2 and for v3 we will have 10 minus 4 it's 6 v3 is equal to 0 and let's save this as equation number 2 so we run out of space so I will keep these equations and erase all of this so oh, let's write that minus 7 v1 plus 4 v2 plus 2 v3 is equal to 45 and keep this as equation number 1 so we still need one more equations and we will get that by using these notes let me erase the board okay let's continue so we start by using kcl at not v3 kcl at v3 and the current that goes in is only this one v2 minus v3 divided by 5 or it's not only that one it still have this one and that one so I will have plus v1 minus v3 divided by 10 and then this current it's plus 3 and the current that goes out is only this one so I will have v3 minus minus 10 is plus 10 divided by 15 now what can we do here we can multiply both sides by 30 I think 30 is okay so I will have 6 v2 minus 6 v3 plus 3 v1 minus 3 v3 
plus we multiply it by 30 so it's 90 and this one is 2 v3 plus 20 and what can we do here so for v1 i will have 3 v1 for v2 what can we do here we only have this 6 v2 and for v3 we will have minus 6 minus 3 we got minus 9 minus 9 minus 2 that's minus 11 and then I will move the 90 to the right hand side so we will have 20 minus 90 it's minus 70 and we got our third equations and let me copy this equation here so we will have 3 v1 plus 6 v2 minus 11 v3 is equal to minus 70 so this is equation number 3 so the only things we need to do left is to solve this system of equations so let me erase this and let's solve that equations so we can finish the, the problem by solving these three system of equations but i don't want to do it manually so i will use the help of matlab uh, and I will guide you how to do it in MATLAB so first you have to write the matrix of these coefficients so write the coefficient matrix here minus 7, 4, 2 and then semicolon and this the second one 14 minus 30 and then six and then for the third row we will have three six and minus eleven so this is the matrix that we are going to inverse and the factor of the result the factor of the result is 45 and then zero and then minus 70 so what you need to do is to just to enter the command invert a so this will take the inverse of a multiply by b multiplied by b and just press enter and you will get the result so i got the result is let's name the this matrix v so v equal to this matrix it's minus 7 dot this number and then minus 2.7789 and then 2.8865 and this is my result using MATLAB so this is for v1 and this one for v2 and this one for v3 so we can write the final result this is for v1 and v2 is the the unit is 4 so this one is minus 2.7789 and then for v3 it's 2.8865 so this is our final answer for this problem and let me know if you find any mistakes in our calculations thank you